Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to do the initial setup of an S Pro MVR by taking you through its setup wizard. So first of all it's going to ask you to select a region. Uh, we'll select the United Kingdom. Uh, you can also change the language but we'll keep it at English. Uh, then it's going to ask you to pick a video standard, you just need to pick the correct one for your region. We'll keep it at PAL. Uh, click next. Uh, you're then going to want to set up the correct time zone. Uh, we're based just outside London so we'll pick that time zone. And that is the correct uh, date and time, make sure it is correct. Uh, it's worth noting as well that any of these settings can be changed later on as well, so just bear that in mind. Click next. Uh, you'll be then be asked to set up a password, uh, so let's set up a password now. It'll ask you to enter it twice just to make sure you've entered it correctly. And it also will ask you to set up a password hint. This is just a reminder for if you forget what your password is. Again, click next. Uh, it will then ask you to draw an unlock pattern. Uh, this is what you'll do to uh, access the NVR whenever you do so. Uh, you'll need to touch four different points. So I'll just draw a shape like that for an example. It will ask you to do it twice. Uh, next you need to set up a uh, reserved email or like a recovery email should you forget your password. Uh, so I'll put that in now. It will also ask you to set up a number of security questions. Uh, again, this is just in case you do get locked out of the system. It will need to uh, ascertain that you are authorised to access the recorder. Uh, so it will do so by getting you to verify the answers to those questions. Uh, I'm not going to set any up for this demonstration, but please make sure you take the time to do so. Uh, click OK. Uh, and seeing as this is the initial setup, we do want to make sure that the start up checkbox is ticked. Click next and you'll be at what's defined as the basic screen. Uh, you can change the device name to anything you want. Uh, this can be particularly useful if you've got a number of recorders that are networked together uh, and you want to be identifying this recorder specifically, uh, that this will help you to do so. Uh, device number relates to the setting up of IR remote controls. Uh, this isn't something that we do particularly anymore, um, so we'll we'll forget about that. Uh, language English, video standard PAL, we've already discussed. Uh, sync remote device, it relates to if you're using IP cameras, uh, what you can do is have the MVR sync with those IP cameras and send out time and date information to them. Uh, you always want to make sure that the time and date is correct. Uh, instant playback relates to an option you'll see when you're looking back through footage. Uh, you'll have the option to click instant playback and it'll play a clip uh, for the last few minutes uh, based on whatever number we define here. So it's currently set to 5, you're going to want it to be anywhere between 5 and 10 usually, um, but you can have it up to 60 minutes if required. Um, log out of time relates to how long a user can be inactive before it'll log them out. Uh, and then we've got non-login user permission here. Uh, so if we click that, and what non-login user permission relates to is this defines all of the cameras that will be shown uh, when no one's logged into the system. What you don't want to do is have a system where a user has uh, is restricted to not seeing certain cameras, uh, but when they're logged out, that's one of the cameras that's shown. So any cameras where it's restricted, but uh, someone's restricted from seeing it, you want to make sure that it's taken off of the list here. Uh, click OK. Cam time sync is just another way of making sure that the cameras have the correct time information. Uh, what will happen is the MVR will send out the correct time and date information to the cameras uh, based on whatever interval we set up here. Uh, so this is in hours, so it's currently set to do it every 24 hours. Uh, navigation bar, um, if that's enabled, it's going to allow you quick access to any settings from the home screen. Um, because we're going through this process correctly, I find that you don't really need to use this because you're not going to be jumping in and out of settings regularly. Uh, so I'm going to leave that disabled. Uh, and then we've got mouse sensitivity, and that's obviously just how sensitive your cursor is on the screen. 
Uh, so we'll click next again, uh, and we'll be at the date and time screen. Uh, again, make sure the date and time is correct. Having it incorrect can cause no end of problems. It can mean footage isn't admissible in court. It can mean P2P doesn't work. It can mean push notifications go, go haywire. So you always need to make sure the time and date is correct. Again, correct the, uh, the, uh, make sure the time zone is correct um, and that you've got the date format set up the way you want it. So in the UK, we tend to do day, month, year. Um, you've got the date separator as well, as well as time format, which can be 24 hours or 12 hours. Uh, and you need to make sure that when you've got this set up, you click save. Uh, if you do click next, it won't retain that information. So please make sure you do click save. Uh, DST you can leave as default. Um, and NTP is just another way of making sure the cameras have got that correct time and date information. Uh, it will take the correct time and date from whatever server you've defined here. Um, but because we've set everything up correctly manually, uh, there shouldn't be any need to do that really. Click next. Uh, and then we'll be on the holiday screen. Uh, and this is something that's actually uh, quite often overlooked. Um, it's something I think people don't really understand. Best way to think of it is as an exception, uh, a specific date that you can use as an exception to the standard recording schedule. Uh, so for example, you could add an exception on Christmas Day uh, because you know no one's going to be on site on Christmas Day and so you want a different set of recording rules for that day. Uh, so let's change it to Christmas. Okay, and when you've got those set up, click next. Uh, you'll then be at the TCP IP screen and you wanna click modify here and make sure DHCP is enabled. Click okay and it should uh, show that it's enabled here as well, but make sure that it is. Um, this isn't gonna do anything currently, um, but what it means is that when you do plug a network cable into the recorder, uh, it will accept that IP. Click next and you'll be at the P2P screen. Uh, make sure this is enabled as well. And uh, here you'll see two different QR codes. Uh, so the first, when you scan it with your phone, will download the app that you need to in, in order to view your security system remotely. Uh, and then from within that app, if you scan the second QR code, it will uh, allow you to access this security, uh, security system specifically. So you can view it remotely. Uh, once you've done that, click next. Now, you are in some ways done with the initial setup now. Um, the wizard will prompt you to add cameras now via the camera list, uh, but we advise you do, you, you do this at a later stage once the recorder has actually gone through its initialization process. Uh, so we're gonna click next to essentially skip that for the moment. Uh, then we're on the recording schedule page. Uh, again, this is something best done after initialization. So we'll click next again, and next again to skip doing the snapshot for the moment. And I click OK. And once the recorder's gone through the initialization process, if you go to the main menu and camera, when you're ready to add the cameras, you'll do it there. And then main menu and storage, and schedule will allow you to set up the schedule when you're ready. So there you have it. We've gone through the initial setup of an S Pro NVR. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos from us. We're gonna be going more into depth on how to add cameras to the system, as well as setting up a recording schedule. Uh, so make sure you don't miss those. And thanks for watching.